Welcome That's to Drunk Comics, right. Frank Sandra. Thank you for being here. Yay! Yay! This is fun. I'm excited. I look like I have like a fan crown. I'm noticing in the background. I kind of like it. I might just stay centered so I look like a snazzy propeller lady. You're like Hella, but with a fan crown. I am. Very royal. Very royal. But I'll go with it. (laughs) All hail the queen of the fans. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Salud. I'm cheersing with water right now, but I do have beer as well. I can. I can. You know, that's exactly oh Thank you Brain, so much. Did you for drop your beer? Uh, we're, we're both drinking okay, a rose bat squatch. It's a hazy IPA. It's a low IBU IPA, which I appreciate quite a lot. One of my favorites out of Oregon. I feel a little bit, you know, blasphemous because we're not drinking a Michigan beer right now nah. or an Oklahoma <laughs> beer. I feel like we should be representing something local, but nah, we do not think that far ahead. We're fine. It did, it did its job. <laughs> For drunk comics, yes, which is totally the show that we're on, right? <laughs> totally the show that you're on. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. You're so drunk you don't remember. Uh, I'm good. trying. I am trying. We'll see how much of this he remembers in the morning, right? <laughs> you know, that's we'll how you know see. it's a good episode if you don't remember in the morning. Yeah, I've had a few of those where I'm like, no, I don't remember this while this I'm editing like, it. Mm-hmm. No, and this is a cool effing comic i'll just start it that way it's a cool <laughs> effing comic. pretend that you're not gonna swear i'm gonna swear later on oh are you building, just, I, are you doing the mick foley thing and building up to exactly the exactly, okay. exactly i feel like exactly that's what good we'll <laughs> exactly yeah. what i'm doing well all first right. of all tell me how you guys got into comics and superheroes all right go ahead okay uh so i got into comics and superheroes the weird thing is I'm not even that much of, like, a comics fan necessarily. Okay. Like, I'm one of those people that's very specific in my knowledge of comics. So I was a big fan of Lois and Clark growing up. Um, yeah. You know, like, in 1993 when that started, I fell in love with that show. I was, like, eight or nine, something like that. Superman became my guy. And so I've just basically been obsessed with Superman ever since. So, which is how we all know each other is, you know, from Metropolis, Illinois, Superman being the common theme between us. And so I've always been very like, Superman's my guy, so I'm going to learn everything about Superman. Or like, I really love Batgirl because she's a librarian, right? So I'm going to learn everything about Barbara Gordon because I think she's the coolest ever. Um, But when it comes to other... She is the coolest. I mean, like, that's just indisputable fact, frankly. Um, But when it comes to a lot of other comics, I don't have that much knowledge. Like, I've gotten better over the years of expanding my nerd dumb a little bit but are you just showing off the beer again yes, I am. um but you know like I, I i'm more like into specific things i would say but it was pretty much lois and clark started it and then just being a big old geek i've i've read some other stuff i don't know what about you uh as far as the comics is concerned i started out with fucking or er- I forgot. Can we curse? Yes. Can we curse on this? Yes, we can. No, yeah. I, I just want to say it on air that if we can curse. But uh but Batman, like files an injunction because exactly. you swore on the show that I don't she wanna get, supposed to the internet. I don't want to get written up for this. I don't want a stern yeah. email sent my way <laughs> because I started swearing on your podcast. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, I think uh, as far as my earliest memories, I think Batman captured my imagination as a young little Mexican and I was like, oh, my God, this is the coolest. And it kind of gave me the thing to go ahead and start reading comics and getting Which captured is- in the whole universe of people that are extraordinary. Because when you're a little kid, you think of yourself, oh, my God, I wish I could do all these cool things like Batman, like Superman, like Green Lantern, or like John Constantine. Nice segue. A a sting looking mystic that does fucking magic. Which is awesome. Great. Great. So I don't know, Miss Host Lady, where you want to go with that, but I'll serve that up to you. No, but that's one of the great things about comics is that they can be anything, right? They can be aspirational or they can be like gritty and down and dirty and whatnot, like Punisher. Like you can you can do anything in comic books, but it's always kind of like I don't know, it's it's cathartic because it's not the real world. It's like a heightened reality. It's, yes. It's, I love I love it. I love it so much. No, and, and that's why and that's why I picked this one. And that's why I picked this one, which yes. is Hellblazer, which is out of the Vertigo DC comics. Which and I'm not gonna lie, like what I know about Constantine, because I haven't read the comic because I was on a plane all day. 
Um, <laughs> I, so he's going to have to explain it to me as well. Uh, uh, what I know about Constantine is like, he's hella bi, which I love. Um, yeah. And, or, or Pan, I don't know, like, which one no, he identifies and, and with. And that's the cool thing, oh, because we don't find that out later he's gay on. gay like me, which I appreciate. And so, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I love that about him. And he's, like, a magical, mystical, spooky dude, which I also appreciate. And, like, I've seen him on, like, Legends of Tomorrow, so I'm familiar enough no, with he's... the character. But, like, I, I'm, I'm fascinated by him and would love to learn more. No, and, and that's the cool thing about Constantine, because he has layers because he's not like like an onion no exactly exactly <laughs> like like an he's like the <laughs> onion because he's a mystic warlock guy mm. but he's not like just your standard like just regular like superhero or whatever no. he's got layers to him yes. because even portrayed in the comics or in legends of tomorrow or whatever media there's a lot to him and that's what i like about it because he was initially drawn to look like sting from the police <laughs> and, like it's funny because you say sting and immediately i'm like he doesn't look like sting but i'm thinking of like the wrestler no sting. not the wrestler sting like i'm not thinking of sting and the police but the police sting. <laughs> he was literally like, he doesn't look like the crow he is not a exactly <laughs> and, he was, and he was specifically to look like him and yeah. so in the comics, you look like that. And I love it that he's a working class guy. He's like, he's not like a heightened superhero. He's just like, okay, I got a job to do. I got to work with demons. And I love that conceit. And yeah. it's set in London. Kind of, is it like kind of similar to Dresden Files? Like, because I've. No, yeah. and then that's where Dresden Files got that vibe. No. Like, got that vibe. Because I do know Dresden Files. Like, I love Dresden no, Files. No, and, th and that's where <laughs> they got that vibe from is because, oh, okay, this is the job yeah. that I do. And it's basically, okay, I'm a, I'm a normal guy, but I got <laughs> other extraordinary I things that I can see. No one else is going to do it. Exactly. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess if I have to do exactly. the fucking magic and, and save the fucking world, I'll do it. Like, because I'm the only one here who's competent at my job. And just to give you a little background on this, just because we're talking, this is Hellblazer number one. Yeah. Which is John Constantine. And I'm gonna go ahead and just read off what's in front of me. <laughs> the writers was John Delano, the penciler was John Ridgeway, the inker was also John Ridgway. And so they created this Hellblazer, which kind of goes along with Sandman in that universe, which is amazing. Yes. Because it's all magic. But it's a different kind of magic because it's almost like it, it draws you into it. And it's not like fancy fairies or anything, but it's just like they kind of like it's almost the drudgery. It's like down and dirty magic, right? Exactly. It's exactly. Okay. It's the down and dirty magic and the drudgery that, okay, we have to do this. We work with Satan. It's mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> oh my God. We have to do this. It's basically punching the clock. And the, the, Granted, the fairies are not what you see in Disney. Disney. They're yeah. not fancy and nice no. and sweet. Exactly. You don't fuck with fairies. Exactly. No, fairies are like fairies are feral. Like they just are. No, no, you gotta you gotta watch your ass with fairies. Absolutely, don't give oh. them your name. It doesn't end well. Is that is that what it is? That's the thing. Okay, yes. so <laughs> this... give them your name. Don't let them get any part of your body, including oh. your hair. Mm -hmm. This is the Hellblazer number one that we're talking about, Kelly. In case mm -hmm. you forgot, and you can find this, and it's a very expensive comic. Because Hellblazer is very popular. Well, I mean, if you're getting like a first print of it, I'm yeah, sure it's first print of expensive. It. I feel like there are probably reprints available should the common masses want to read this tale. Exactly. So this is Hellblazer number one in the series of Hellblazer volume one. And I will go ahead and give you a quote on this that I'm reading right in front of me. Literally just has a wiki page. Exactly. Right exactly. That's what because it said, come on then, you maggoty piece of hell meat. Eat me! I'll bloody choke you! Which is a great 
quote. No, I feel like that sums up John Constantine. No. Because he's not phased by working with these hell demons. He's not phased by his job. It's like, you know, some people are like, oh, it's crazy. Like, if you're going to be a professional wrestler, like, how do you deal with that in your real life? That seems like something a human wouldn't do. Or working in a funeral home. How do you deal with death exactly. all day? No. Like, it must be crazy for you. But when that's your actual job, it's just something that you're used to. No, it's like, and- now I have to fight the demon spawn. No, and, and, and that's what it is. It's just because it's kind of a matter of fact, kind of everyday working class dealing with just crazy shit. With crazy shit. So some the, people have to file invoices. Some people have to kill demon spawn. Like, you yeah, know what? Exactly. There's a job for everyone you, in this world. You deal with shit <laughs> the way it comes at you. I'm pretty sure so, the first one is better. <laughs> yeah, so, I think it does. So, Kelly. I don't think the demon spawn are, like, tipping well when you kill them, right? You know what? I don't don't think demon spawn do that anyway. I don't think so. Because they're dicks. I mean, it'd be great if you found the demon spawn that, like, transformed into money. Like, I'm totally just making this up. But, like, wouldn't it be great if that, like, transformed into actual money and you could monetize it somehow? Like demon spawn? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just thinking. It doesn't grow on demons. Or something. Like, it doesn't grow on demons. (laughs) <laughs> All right. So the way that Hell Blazer number one opens up is that this guy orders food, but he's basically inhibited. Wait, inhibited or he's possessed by a. Going for. Right, he's in. He's basically. He's Are you captured. Saying he's obsessed. With no, 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 no. He's he's he has a demon. He has by... a demon possessed. It's a uh, it's a uh, a hunger demon in that, and it shows him eating, trying to eat everything in this <laughs> comic. But still, it's not enough. How did he get a hunger demon? He, he had a hunger demon because it just kind of. Is this just a random dude? It's a random dude. And like the demon the was comic, just like, "I'm gonna possess you now." In and the you're comic that I'm reading in front of me, it says it's Henry Wabak. He feels a dark rumbling in his gut. And this is his <laughs> fucking hunger, hunger demon. I mean, I have felt dark rumbling in my guts, but like that's just a whole different No, that, that's IBS. Yeah, I believe it. Right. So it's not <laughs> IBS. It usually doesn't like, end well, but it doesn't it, end with me like being see, a demon. Instead of IBS, this is a hunger demon. Okay. <laughs> and we'll find out the name later on. This hunger demon encapsulates him and croaches in on him that he's eating everything in front of him. And everybody's starting to notice. And this is how it starts. The whole comic starts with him just just ingesting everything in front of him. But it's so, not Kelly, you haven't read this either, right? Like, we're both no. figuring this out right now? Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to describe that <laughs> at the very beginning, we don't see Constantine. We just see this dude. and he's, It's a cold open situation. It's a cold open situation. And he's just, like, ingesting everything in front of him but it's not enough the demon takes over him the demon sucks him in because he's not eating enough for the demon so well, yeah that's I know. Like, and it's a great literally. and gross literally. Op- and it's a great and gross opening to this comic does he like explode like it, it, no no does, he just, okay, just so dries up demon- does the demon like make his body able to expand with the food, no, or is no. it like in Seven where the guy was like forced to be gluttonous? No, and no, like, no. No, the thing yeah. is, like, the thing is, he he eats so much, but it's not enough. He dries up like a raisin in oh. the comic, and everybody in the restaurant that he's trying to eat everything in because he orders everything on the menu, but it's not Ooh. enough. And he just dries up like a like a well, like his physical body can handle this. Like he can mm. just keep eating. Yeah, he can keep eating, but it's not enough. Okay. And that's and that's the. So what I'm getting from you is it's not enough. It is it's, not enough. As I said, he needs more because enough. it is not enough. Not <laughs> enough. <laughs> this is what we've learned. okay. We've established this. <laughs> so we're good. It cuts open <laughs> to the cool ass hero, quote unquote. Anti-hero. Uh, John Constantine. Oh, he's a bit of an anti-hero, right? Like, he's yeah. kind of a moody dude. Yeah, and they kind of kind of established that at the beginning of this comic, where he's like, oh, shit. Do I have to do this? Do I have to investigate this? And he's like, 
And does he not really, think that this particular thing is worth his time, or is no, it like he just doesn't want to work? No, I think it's this thing that he goes like, "Oh shit!" Is this just not interesting enough? He's like, "This dude just ate a bunch." Like, yeah, no, no. And they, they basically in the comic, he's like, "Oh my god, do I have to investigate this?" And and it's funny because that's the whole story. It was like he's kind of the reluctant hero. And yeah. again, this is the story told by Bat Squatch. <laughs> just to let you know. And I forgot who's the brewery. Are you getting paid? No. My no, bad. I wish you were getting paid. No. I feel like you should. I, I should, should because Absolutely. I give them all the love for getting me drunk. We're trying to be a bit thematic, right? Like, because Bat Squatch is like a, a scary it, monster. And I'm wearing my, I showed it to Kelly earlier, but I have like a, a, a Ouija yes. board shirt, but it's QWERTY letters because it's like, it's a joke. It's like a pun. Um, but yeah, so we're, tr we're trying to be thematic for the show. So, so Constantine's good. whole deal is he has to fight these, these demons and he, whatnot. He so like, demons. so he, he's going to go fight this hunger demon. Like what happens? Yeah. No, so with this hunger demon, He's trying to find out what the hell's going on. So he has to visit this friend that he knows that, okay, well, this guy would know about demons. So he goes to this demon. And again, brought to you by this beer. <laughs> that I'm trying to fucking remember. I just opened another one. And uh, Sorry for the noise. <laughs> and once he goes to this friend, he noticed there is a shit ton of insects at this friend's apartment. Ew. Like a lot, and I feel like they're all always a bad harbinger. Exactly. So he's. So we're not to... talking just like a dirty apartment. We're talking like no. infested. Like it is totally infested. Ooh. And just think of the time or whatever in your life that you saw a whole bunch of insects, cockroaches, whatever. Every night when I close up work, oh, and then I have gosh. to turn on the light outside because I work next to like where there's no, there's a river nearby, and there are just like swarms mm. of gnats, and they fly into my face, and I have to exhale when I go out the door so I don't inhale them. Is it like that situation? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I like don't like that. it. Mm -mm. So all these uh, insects are infecting his friend, basically. So because he's a working class warlock, and I'll say that over and over again because it's Constantine. Working class warlock. Warlock. Is that his catchphrase? Yeah, that is, his catchphrase. That is nice alliteration. The, the working class warlock decides, okay, I'll deal with this. So he buys like five hundred dollars worth of bug spray to go ahead and go back to his friend's <laughs> apartment, fumigate the place, and then deal with the supernatural part of it. Well, because are the bugs from the demon? The bugs are from the demon. Okay. But, but he's he, still gonna deal with the fucking bugs. Yeah, it is, is this Raisin dude's apartment then? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So he's trying to deal. I was like, okay, what is going on with him? So he goes ahead and buys like five hundred dollars worth of bug spray. That's a significant amount of bug it spray. Is a a lot. Good it is a lot. And you know what? For dealing with a demon, probably not. Probably a good investment. Well, I feel like, is the bug spray going to be effective? Because, like, it's a demon, right? So can it just, like, magic well, more bugs? Well, see, it takes care of the bugs, but not the demon. And that's what the thing so is. So are the bugs a side effect, or are they, like, part of They the are the side effect. They are the side effect. Because the demon summons these bugs to literally bug this guy. Because he's he's <laughs> on to something. So do you get a fun. hunger demon from a bug bite? I think the hunger demon is just, like, around. From it's this. just hanging out like and in case you didn't know this is the very first appearance of the hunger demon and his name is hey how do you pronounce it i would say nemoth the... it's m-n-e-m-o-t-h so it's like nemoth. a mnemonic nemoth i feel like the first m is silent the nemoth is the hunger demon is this like a recurring character yes it is gotcha but this is the very first time you he's introduced to hellblazer and in the comic, this is the demon that we're working. This is the quote unquote big bad. Mm -hmm. I know. This is the big bad in the comic. So, well, he's disgusting. Fire, say what? <laughs> he's it disgusting. Is no, yeah. he's, he's a gross. Like, because if demon. he's like, I'm going to make you eat so much and then dry up, and also my side effect is bugs, like, that's just. That's right gross. Now, kill him with fire. fire. Kill yeah. the so and I mean, and I think cool. what I like about Hellblazer in, in this comic that he's a working class warlock, as I said, mm -hmm. but he's also a detective. 
because mm. you're thinking, okay, what kind well, of he's demon working is working class? He has a job, and that exactly, job is exactly, exactly. So he's a mystic. He's trying to figure out where does this demon come from. So he talks to some people, including the person that was infected by all these fucking mugs, and he talks to them. And so, for whatever reason, he books a flight to Africa. <laughs> And he finds... Wait, he wants to get away from bugs and he goes to Africa. He goes to Africa because that's where the lead goes. But like goes where? Africa. Africa. Do they Why Africa? Africa because he knows that that's where the origin of the... Uh, the uh, the Nemoth? The Nemoth? The Nemoth comes If we're from. saying that right. Like, I feel like we're going to get comments and people will exactly. be like, excuse me. The Nemoth. <laughs> no, people aren't, allowed, people aren't allowed to correct because the whole thing about drunk comics is you don't have to get things right. You're drunk. Exactly. I mean, so, like, I welcome the correct pronunciation, but don't be a dick about it. Exactly. Just don't make it a thing. <laughs> don't make it a thing. So Nemoth is, is originated from... From Africa. From we Africa. know this because of reasons. No, no, they're explained in the comics because there's some folks that are originally from Africa that have been that have been in possession of this demon. Okay. And so they bring we're it to the Africa. US. That's a, that's a whole thing. Exactly. No, so we're in Africa now. But Which we're I, in Africa. Uh, it doesn't really say. Who's on first? <laughs> Exactly. It's one of those like <laughs> somewhere in Africa. It's like when they used to credit wrestling. Sorry, I I podcast about wrestling, so all I talk about is wrestling. So oh my god, I all know. you do is all talk I about wrestling. Is, but it's We're like gonna have to plug your podcast at the end of this, by the way. We will for sure. But like a lot of times with wrestlers, especially like older days or whatever, like from Japan, um, like that's such and such coming to the room. I right always or, like Parts Unknown. Well, Parts Unknown is great, obviously. But, but just like Japan is small. Africa is fucking huge. Yeah, yeah exactly. So many people countries. are like, Africa. It's so, like, okay, that's like, that's like saying you're from the Southern Hemisphere, basically. No, exactly. In, uh, Go in on. My drunk-